All right, hey all, so we're six weeks out. We're doing a check-in today. Tree's back from his holiday. Measuring your weight. Do not grab the handles or move. Weight measure. How about that? I measured myself this morning, I was 87.9. That's, that's all good. So. Was that nude? Huh? Was that nude? Like with no clothes? Uh, no, clo clothes. Close. Yeah. So I'm even thinking of maybe starting your in-body test. Mm. Batch creating a ton of shorts. So I just dedicate a day where I just pick topics to talk about. And yeah. Batch create a shit ton of them. Batch create a shit ton of um, cooking videos. Um, so I need to show you, like I've started using a, um, is that it? Yeah, that's yeah. it, isn't it? Yep. Um, I started using an AI thing for my shorts. Yep. So it's nowhere near as expensive as getting an editor for your long form stuff. But mm -hmm. I think I, I pay like 100, 115 for a year for the service. Yep. Um, but I'll show you. So it's creating stuff like this. Funnily enough, I rocked up early before my friends rocked up and that, to these ladies so that's all auto generated. Oh yeah. And you can have like different and things on it, like there's different templates. Like oh yeah. But it'll you can upload a video. So you have like you pay for like a certain amount of hours of upload. So like I paid for like sixty hours of upload per month or something. Yeah. Um, but what I do is because some of them are like training videos and stuff. What I'll like cut down the video so it's just the talking. So it's literally like seven minutes of content, yeah. and then just upload the seven minutes. So instead of uploading a full video with all the stuff where I'm not talking because that counts off my quota, I'm uploading seven minutes. Yeah. And then it creates. I set it to create thirty to sixty second shorts, and it does those. And then I just schedule them. For you can schedule it across multiple platforms. So you can do Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Facebook, and there was like, oh, LinkedIn, um, and I just schedule it, and then every morning at nine o'clock, it, it yeah, yeah does a video. So, so does it does it break it up into shorts for you? It does, and then you can edit the shorts. So it's good once you've got the long form because I did an interview with another guy. Yeah. Once you've got the long form content, yep. and if you want to like cut out sections of it and just upload like shorter sections to reduce your quota. Yeah. Like you can do that, but the editing's super easy. So like four shorts rather than like doing it yourself or, or me doing it. Like yeah. I, I recommend just AI stuff because yeah. it's so much better. So I'll send you the, I probably have a referral link for the one I use, right. but I'll send you that. So let's chat about all that tomorrow. Yeah, and then see. We'll sort of come and then I can show you at home. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Um, So weight's still tracking down. I'm feeling really good with like how much food I'm intaking now. Like mm -hmm. it, it's not as bad as like when we first dropped and I was like miserable. Yeah, yeah. Like it, I think my body's used to it now. Yep. Um, Adelaide wasn't too bad, so I didn't hit yes. like the protein goals every day. Yep. But I was hitting my calories. So okay. like I was on, on par with that. So we've dropped two and a half kilos. Uh, yep. Our last, th this last scan was the 7th of February. Yep. Um, so with, uh, with muscle mass is down 600 grams, but so is body fluid. Yep. So I'm, I'm saying, I'm, pre I'm saying that that's exactly the same. Yeah. Um, fat mass has reduced by almost Two kilos, one point seven. Oh shit! Yep, eleven point um, four and thirteen point one. Uh, body fat percentage has dropped also. Yep, great work. Sick. All right, let's have a look. Uh, we'll do skins as well. All right. Yes. People won't be able to hear me as much, but I bought myself like some short leather necklaces so I could train without a shirt on and a hat and still have the mic yep. on me. Yes, looking I good. I forgot it because I bought everything else. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, cool. Looking good. Happy? Yeah. Good. All right. Let me get some skin folds. Um, when you get this video, are you able to just cut the, the part where we're taking skins yeah. and then just send me that part? Yeah, sure. Please? Yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to do like a better angle for it? Um, no, because this is kind of real. Like it just okay. overlooks my messy crap here. And, <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so let's do this. Um, yeah, we can also plan to film kind of like whatever you want as well. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to film exercises or anything else. Oh, and this is my new lens, which is really cool. So it's a wide angle lens, so it captures like oh, right. more, like you wouldn't have noticed before, it would have been like this. Yep. But you can see like it distorts as I get closer to the camera. Right. Whereas it didn't do that before. So it's better for like these kind of shots. Right. Um, yeah, that lens only cost me like 50 bucks, which was like really good. Okay, so weight is 88. All right, it's time to start getting hairy, my friend. <laughs> Hairier. Uh, uh, oh yeah, the so the squat session when I did the hip abductors, just like ruined me. Like <laughs> I was, I woke up the next day and I thought I'd like broken my back or something. It was, like what? I could barely move. Your back? Yeah, because it was so tight across the lower back, and I was like, did I squat and like crack a vertebrae or something? Oh, he's starting to get vascular too. Cool. But, um, what it was, was my nerve endings just firing off and like not allowing me to be flexible. So it just mm. took time to like stretch that out again. Um, but I think but, but you're because, good I, now? because I squat so low, like my abductors get quite a lot of training mm, in mm. that low squat. Yeah. So doing them on top of the low squat, so I was like, just fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, Try it. So, um, yeah, it took like a week. To come good? Up. Yeah, to come good. I did the squat session again right at the end of the next week. Um, and I was okay again. And I didn't do the hip abductors. <laughs> but it's all right, because everything else was Yo, like... Beauty upper body, mm -hmm. I did all this, the rest of that. Yes. That's gone down. Yes. 6.5 from, from eight. Yeah. Holy shit. Subscat 10 to eight. Mm. Nice. Little, not as much in the earlier. But I guess that's like, like you said, the last part. It's yeah. Like the front and the back, right? It's, it's the, what's the word? The bane of every older males. He's yeah. trying to lose. Alright, so that's gonna the same. Quad. Yeah, so that's the same. I suppose um once we get it off though, that will be much easier. Yeah, so we'll have to start talking about a recovery diet. Yeah. And then we'll go into a bulking phase. Yeah. Um, six, seven. I'm still keen to like Ooh. eat heaps healthy. I was so in a list about getting like an air fryer. Yeah. And then doing like, because I, I, while I was away in Adelaide, I was buying those, um, the pulled chicken bowls yeah. from uh, a Porto. Because yeah. they're like 500 cows. Come forward like, a bit more. Fairly decent um, spread mm -hmm. of like carbs and protein. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I could just make those at home because I'm probably spending way too much money for like, just having them do it. Um, yeah, man, the air fryer, I love the air fryer. You can boil eggs in them. Oh, can you? Man, yeah, you chuck yeah. them in there for, I think it's seven right. minutes and yeah. they come up perfect. That's really cool. All right, so we're, boil eggs would be good. we're down seven mils. Yeah. Okay. So down seven mils, down uh, blah, 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 six, 1.7 kilograms of fat mass and down 1.4% of 
uh, body fat percentage and down 2.5 kilos of weight. Yeah. Good, good, good. Now, calories, calories, what's our Hang calories? We'll see photos best then. Right. Okay. Oh, shit, sorry. No, I, I just realized that I need to switch the camera. I think we have black ones today. Different colour because I think. Might surprise me with a G banger one day. There's nothing in it. <laughs> to the side. You get lots of viewers on that one. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'd have to not one. put it on YouTube and make my own 100. <laughs> Only fans. Yeah. Cool. So, really, really good, big differences. So. Um, how do we go back here? No, sorry, man. How do you... That's okay. I'll upload it so we can do the comparisons. Uh, is it in body or your app? Um, your my, app yeah, in? my app. Yeah. Can I just get you a, to do me a favour and take a photo of me with your phone? With your yeah, phone? Sure. Not, not, oh, can, can well, you do it now? Do yeah, we can do it. Yeah, I'm just going to change my shirt quickly. Yeah, sure, Yeah, fuck the side. The side looks really good. Mm. Yeah, what were you gonna say? Uh, can we do? Can I do an upper with you today? Yeah. So I did. I think it was upper yesterday. That yep. is one of the sessions. That's like. Do you want to do cows? Cows, yes. Um, so where are we at the? I road? expected. We wouldn't be doing too much training today. Yeah. Uh, so calories, um, where are we at the moment? We are at 16 something. Okay. Yeah. So no refeed day. No refeed day, good. And we're at 16.62. Um, can you give me the macro breakdown for yeah. me? Yeah, so 192 protein. Oh, shit. Yep. 102 carbs, 54 fat. And we're doing 16K steps a day? Yep, 16K steps. And if we were to Ha these numbers, so the, these scans are close to um, maybe a month-ish, maybe four, three, three weeks apart. Mm -hmm. How many of those weeks do you think you were consistent to these numbers? So two, the first two, really accurate. Mm -hmm. Last week in Adelaide, no. No, okay. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right, so I'm not so I was hitting I was hitting cows, but again, like then it was some days I wasn't getting enough protein. Some days I like was under on carbs, but slightly over on fats, kind of thing, just because of the access and mm -hmm. regularity of meals was more All difficult. Right. All right, so I'm not going to change anything, but no no refeed this weekend again. Yep, that's can, fine. Can you stick to those numbers for me, yeah. please? And next week I may just reduce them a little bit more. Okay. All right. But yep. for now, because we haven't had a hundred percent consistency with these between these two, mm. it, that's a good thing because we've got great results here, even with that inconsistency. Mm. So if we just push it out another week, um, I'll jump. We can jump on there again just to make sure we're not dropping too much muscle mass or anything. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll make a decision next week whether okay. to drop or not. All sure. right. Um, so cows stay the same, no refeeds, we're at 16k steps and we're still doing those two sessions of HIT. So Adel when I was in Adelaide, no, because right. I was recovering from the, the squat hip flexor right, right. problem. Okay. But I was before that and this week I've done one already. So okay. I did one yesterday. All right, cool. So we'll get back to that again. Yeah. So this week is just to get back to everything yeah. back to normal. Next week I'll review everything and then make some changes if we sure. need to. All right. Um, no, but really, really good.
So you're white as a ghost and things are still popping, so it's... <laughs> yeah. It's um, awesome. Uh, anything else I needed to talk about? No 16K steps. Uh, yeah, you've come in heaps. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> What's that face? Oh, we were talking about OnlyFans or something. <laughs> and I was like, great idea. Oh, the side's looking awesome. just that last little bit there yeah cool awesome 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 yeah it'd be so good comparing the first and last photos yeah this is like a blob white blob that's so cool all right do you mind if i share these pictures no, it's fine. you sure yeah yeah <laughs> oh, awesome. Cool. That can be the name of your uh, professional <laughs> services fitness challenge, the white blob challenge. The white blob. Can we shape it? Well, we can't discriminate, can we? You have multi, multiple <laughs> challenges. Beautiful. Good. Yeah, that side one's really good. Yeah, my lats have been going really well so you that that back area is starting to come through mm. we just need to get this down all right sweet so i'm thinking if we can get a sub 10 uh, 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 uh sub 10 percent body fat mm. by the end we'll be looking where we need to be for the photo shoot yeah um cool because if that's at 11 that's at 13. uh, uh 13 sorry so even if we got down to 11, there'd be some massive improvements. Yeah. So we just need to get sub 10. Right, so that. Okay, let's go. Oh, hang on. Is that the non-machine one? Um, Although actually it might matter because you now I've got that cable machine. Let me just double check. I think the only one that I can't do at home still might be the leg one. All right. So, can we do this one together today? Push bends. The push day. Yes, we yeah. can. Awesome. Yeah, the other upper one I can do. The legs one I can't do because I don't have a leg extension or leg curl. Mm -hmm. So let's. Um, so there's no. You've got no niggling injuries um, upper body wise. Still, just that shoulder is a little bit tight, but it's much better. And this has recovered, like in the okay. arm where I had that. Oh, no music. Oh, no music. All right, so we will do two warm-up sets. And all I want today is uh, eight, four reps, four sets of eight reps. Four sets of eight reps. And we got 17.5 for 10 last week. So let's warm up with a 10, then a 12, and then we'll try and get um, four sets of eight at 20 kilos. Okay. Oh. So the book that I've been reading mm -hmm. is called um, Blue Sky Strategy. Blue Sky? Yeah, Blue Sky Strategy. Yep. Have you ever heard of it? No. So it's all about, so far, because I'm about halfway through, I mm -hmm. think. It's about when you're building a business, trying to find ways to not compete. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, essentially like figuring out how your offering can be different or mm -hmm. look at different markets and that kind of thing. Mm. Uh, and that's been really good. Four. Five. Have you heard of Russell, Russell Brunson? Russell who? Brunson. Who's that? Oh, he's one of those American, he's similar to like um, 
that Dan Cardone. Have you heard of him? Seen him? Uh, I've, probably. Yeah, well, I've probably seen both of them, but I just don't know who their names are. Yeah, so they're sort of like marketing. You know ClickFunnels? Have you heard of ClickFunnels? No. So it's like a learning platform, but now you've probably heard of School Games. School? Alex Hermosi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's the, the new like platform where everybody builds courses out and you on sell these courses. Right. And anyway, well, Russell Brunson was the ClickFunnels guy. Right. Um, and he wrote a book. I can't remember what it is either, but he, he <sighs> refers to that as Red Ocean and Blue Ocean. Oh, so, that's Blue Sky Strategy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so well, maybe it's Blue Ocean Strategy. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, so Red he's Ocean, saying like... So the idea, the idea behind, we'll do this and we'll talk. One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, last one, eight, beautiful. So the idea about that is about niching down. So his, his theory or whatnot is, so PT is a red ocean, meaning there's, it's fucking competitive as fuck, it's yeah. oversaturated, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. You want to compete in a blue ocean, so that's where you niche down. So you go, okay, so yeah. um, a PT who looks after white blobs who want to be black fucking picnic bars. Not white blobs. <laughs> <laughs> who, who are white blobs who want to be, um, whatever. So now you're competing in a blue ocean because there's not a lot of competitors in that niche field. So yeah. that's where he's, it's about niching down into finding your blue ocean. Yeah. So is that a similar concept? Same On, concept, yeah. Yeah, 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 same thing. Yeah. And the key is like picking a niche where there isn't a competition, mm. yeah. Yeah, so you can dominate that marketplace. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was like all about not focusing on what your competitors are doing. So like seeing, like if a competitor comes out with an offering, like not knee-jerk reaction mm -hmm. to, yep. well, I'm gonna lower my prices because mm -hmm. you need to look at your customer base. Like, are you offering a better service? Mm -hmm. And are your customers leaving? If they're leaving, like why are they leaving? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and you're only responding to stuff that you can measure rather than, oh, I've got a competitor yeah. and thinking that they're taking your, mm -hmm. your customers. Oh. So Hermosi's book, um, $100 million offer. Have you read that one? Yeah. So that's, so his thing in that is separate yourself from the competition so that they don't have anything to compare your prices to. Let's go, four, one. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can't make a direct comparison. Correct. So like with, yep. with PTing, I'll use PTing for an example. Yeah. If you sell a PT session, people's mind will always automatically go, oh, his PT session's only 40, why is yes. yours 60? Whereas if you say, I sell a coaching package, where yeah. you get this, that, and so it's an offer, um, value stacking as well. Yeah, so yeah. you get in body, you get apps so yeah. you get this that and the other my uh, my coaching package is 110 bucks uh, a week all of a sudden there's no comparison between yeah oh i'll make down the streets only 40 bucks this guy's 110 is yeah. because you're a different kettle of fish now and like i i always picture it visually when so when you're calling it a package you like it's when you look at the website for like buying an online service right like they always have like basic pro yes, ultimate yes 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 and they're, they're all called packages, yeah. and they all have different names which mean fuck all, right? Yeah. But it's the amount of dot points mm -hmm. that's in each one, or mm -hmm. when they compare it in that matrix, and they're yeah. like, oh, you get the ultimate, you get all these ticks, mm -hmm. and like these are all the things that you can buy. So like, There's a psychology behind that as well. So if you want someone to buy the middle package, you'll kind of like really not have as much as much in like the under, undersell and then oversell exactly yeah. so then that's the one you want to sell yeah. like say for a pt if this is the two the two packages the ideal one yeah you'll make that one look super attractive and the end one really expensive not get as much but then the bottom one yeah it's not as value so yeah. then the psychology you the brain kind of goes yeah. to that one and it's finding that sweet spot for you right like where Correct. the middle package is yeah. 
an ideal amount of effort for the amount of money you're being yeah, paid. So, but, but the best value exchange is the middle one. Yeah. 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 Can you lean back against this for me this time? Yeah. And I, this time I only want you to come down to ear height. So okay. don't go all the way down. All right. Oh, fuck. You're right. <laughs> all right. Oh, so just down to ear height. Yep. Two. Three. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Up. Oh. Eight. Beautiful. Three sets of four. Four. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the, the Hamosi's book's actually really good. The $100 million offer. Yeah, I gotta add his. I've been adding heaps of books on my list lately mm. to try and get through. So I saw this one, I forget the guy's name, but he started a company, but he interviews like all these really like big names. Stephen Bartlett? Is it Happy Sexy Millionaire? No. The Diary of a CEO? Maybe. He interviewed, the one thing that got me onto him was he interviewed Kobe Bryant, like after he finished his basketball career. Right. Because um, he created an animation studio, which I didn't even know. And it was talking about that. Like right. his, yeah. like, because he went from being a basketball player to a businessman. Yeah, so th if, if it's the same guy, it's this one? So this is his uh, first book. I don't know. Um, his second one's um, the Di Diary of a CEO. Is he a dark guy? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably it's probably Stephen okay. Bartlett. He's a pretty good interviewer. Yeah. 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 Cause he, I was watching like a YouTube short where he recommended, like just at the time, he was recommending like five. So that Blue Ocean Strategy was the first one. Mm -hmm. So he recommended. So I started reading that. Um, but he was saying like have all these books and like spend two years reading. And then from there, like you'll be making money. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably him because in his new book, um, Diary of a CEO, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight, beautiful. Thanks. Push ups. Push ups. Yeah, so in, in that book, he, yeah. there's a first the first part of it, it's 33 laws, 33 sort of like things that he's come up with for business and life. Yeah. And the first one is he I can't remember what he calls it, but he says it's filling your buckets in the right order. And he reckons the first bucket should always be your knowledge. Yeah. So then once you apply that knowledge. The second bucket becomes skill, and then once you acquire that skill set, you'll increase your network. Um, and then, so network is the third bucket, and then once you get a good network, you increase your resources, and once you have more resources, you increase your reputation. So he's saying they're the five buckets, right. but you need to fill them in that order. Right. So that's why you need to fill your knowledge bucket first yeah. and, then, and then apply that knowledge yeah. and it becomes skill. So this is AMRAP. Yeah, three sets, right? Yep. Yeah. So he's coming to Australia. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think like, I don't know how about going to watch those guys. Like their books are good and you can get so much on YouTube for free. They're all just like sales things. Do yeah. You know what I mean? Like if they're just- one Like they're making revenue by coming and chatting. Is it him? Uh, 
No. No? Right. That's not him. Um, if you look up Kobe Bryant interview. On YouTube? Just on Google. Like, it'll probably come up. Like, he's done heaps. But yeah, it is a darker guy. Bit older than him. Like, bit older looking than that dude. Yeah, last great interview. That dude. Um, last great interview. Yeah. Oh, Jay Shetty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so yeah. he's the how to think like a monk. Right, okay. Yeah, I was watching his and then I guess because I watch that on YouTube now I'm getting recommended like a shitload of, that's how the algorithm works, right? Yeah. But yeah, some of his stuff's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep that tension in your chest. Seven. Come on. 12. Give it going. 13. Chest, chest, chest. 14. 15. Come on. 16. 17. Oh, I started reading a book called The Cure for Burnout. Yeah. Yeah. So. Was it? Oh, I've just started. Was it, it going on a Bali holiday every six weeks? <laughs> it's, it's something like that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been pretty interesting. And then just like the psychology behind, I've just started it, so I'm only like two chapters in. Right. And just like the psychology behind this, I guess, the hustle culture and how we kind of glorify it in, in a way and then understanding your signs of burnout. Yeah. And just where I'm at, he's, she's saying there's three types of burnout. So there's volume burnout, um, social burnout, yeah. and um, what was the last one? Boredom burnout. And so it's obviously volume burnout is when you take on just a shit ton of work. Social burnout is your social obligations where you can't say no or you yeah. feel obligated to do things. And boredom burnout is when you're just bored and then you, you you burn yeah. out from being bored. Yeah. And then seeing like triggers for it. And so the, the, the way you feel or, or things that you might start doing. So something that I kind of noticed that I started to doing was I was starting to look for, I guess, dopamine hits. Out, right. Like when I was really, when I was really in this hole, my dopamine hit was always sort of like, social media you know yeah. i'd jump on but i'd stop myself i'd stop but then in hindsight now i don't get the urge now i couldn't give a fuck yeah. like i don't give a fuck about what kim kardashian's ass is fucking doing you know what i mean whereas and in that state i was kind of like searching for little dopamine hits mm. yeah and i always find when i start to get burned out old thought patterns or old beliefs that i thought i'd conquered before they start to come back yeah, yeah. Oh, I got this done too. Got smashed out for 11 hours, the leg. Oh, I saw, yeah, I saw your photo on Instagram. <sighs> Chest. 10, 11, 12. Oh, fuck. Good. It's a... Fuck, it's a funny thing, right? Like I was watching something else about like all these people that are giving all this advice now, right? Mm -hmm. But they're saying like, um, like all these people are like, oh, you should have work-life balance and not burn out. But like they're, they're too far removed from when they made yeah, yeah. their big break. Like sure, like burnout is something to be aware of, but it's something that you kind of need like, I think it's really good because I found when I was working two jobs, yep. like I cut away fucking Netflix and like all those streaming services. And then I worked two jobs. I could prove that I could do it and like churn out so much work. But then that burnout was like, okay, cool. I need to step back. But it was necessary. Of course. To like reach that point. So now I'm like, all right, I can get more done. I'm not on the clock because I'm not being paid a full-time yeah. thing where I'm chair sitting kind of thing. But like now I haven't gone back to watching TV. So mm. like I I've got all this just, time. I think Is this the work, leaning things? Yeah. Yeah, I think work-life balance probably isn't the right analogy. It's more managing imbalance because 
Yes. W whenever you're, so we're doing these yeah, ones. Yeah. I find whenever you're in achievement mode or you're trying to work towards a goal, yeah. there is always going to be an imbalance. You can't have balance and achieve shit. Like that's my- Well, opinion. you can't have balance and achieve at the goals that you set. Yeah. So you, like, because if you reflect, you would have achieved no matter how fast you move. As yeah. long as you're like progressing. Oh, in the time, correct, yeah. correct. How many of these? I I good. Yeah, so you're correct. What I meant was yeah. you, you can't achieve it in the time frame or whatnot you set for yourself. So I guess a, a part of managing burnout is not putting such tight time frames on, on yourself if it's just you that's setting them. Good. Yeah, good. But I swear, like it also comes down, like realistically, burnout is just time management, right? Mm. Like that's, Time, time management and project management are the two things for burnout. So like, if, you don't, if you're starting something completely new, so say you're starting a brand new business, like you don't know how much work that takes. Yes. So it's, I guess, like what you were saying, like having those set points where you can stop, have a holiday, have a couple of days off, mm. and you've gone away and reflected and gone, oh, here are my priorities, here's one, where I want to build the business. Mm. But when you get to a point where you're in the business and you're building, like, because this is a good example, because it's all this media stuff's new for you. Yeah. But once you get to a point where you're like six months deep, then you're like, I know how long these tasks take me and I'm going to branch into this thing, but it's a smaller chunk than starting something brand new. Yeah. So then you're like, mm. all right, I'm going to allocate myself three weeks and I'm going to go hard at it mm. and then reassess. Yeah. And then you kind of re-time allocate again. Yeah. But... Yeah, it's like, like you said, setting those deadlines, but then like we're doing with Asana, like setting the tasks, breaking it up so you can go, all right, I don't have to do all this at once, mm -hmm. but I have to do this much every week. Yeah, yeah. so you, there's an accountability piece on yourself as yeah. well, but knowing how much to be accountable to. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and knowing how much you can give of yourself because you still want to spend time with family and shit. And just time for yourself. Yeah. So that's something I'm going to start doing is um, Toastmasters. I don't know if you've heard about Yeah, that. I've wanted to do that for ages, just never done it. Good, done. Are you going in person? Yeah, so I've, I've realized I need a detachment from here. Yeah. I don't really have a, a detachment. I've, I know I've got family and we go and do things, but there's nothing where I completely s switch off. Yep. So here, keep, it, keep the tension here. Yeah, yeah that's fair. I think I'm going to try and do some more like... Is it only two sets or three? Three. Two. One more. Um, yeah, I wanted to try and do some like mm. entrepreneur meetups. Mm or like business meetups or marketing meetups yeah. just to like, because I was, one of the events I went to with Taylor, they were talking about the, like the entrepreneur meetups. And it was purely for to share like stories of failing. So people would get up and say like, oh, I tried to do this with a business and this failed and this is why it failed. Mm. So it's more just like learning from people's Mr. mistakes Thanks. and yeah. stuff. So I was like. Where was that? It was on the Gold Coast right. that they do it, but like I'm sure they do them in Brisbane. I just need to figure out which meetup group it was and then find the Brisbane version. Yeah. But I'll let you know if I go to yeah, like know. pick any of them. Mm. Yeah, it's just been like taking the time off and then being in Adelaide. Then this week, it'll be good having a catch up tomorrow to get back into this stuff. Mm. And then I had a business meeting with my business partners down in, because they're both in Adelaide. Um, we need to sort some stuff out first. So my first task was like engaging a lawyer because we need some legal help before we start. But it felt good. Like I got home and I was like, I asked a whole bunch of people, yeah. like found a lawyer, sent them an email last night being like, and they had like a free 30 minute consult. So that's on Thursday. The consult. The consult, yeah. which would be really good. Um, 
so yeah just be be nice to like feel like we're actually moving forward. moving forward yeah all right so really get that contraction for me exercise for me and then <coughs> excuse me what are we doing on this Top. one no or over this. here how many 12 can you go wider for me yep there there Reflection at Bali as well is I kind of feel like w with this it's I've always because I've tried a few things in the past but yeah this was always been so there's two learnings this is always going to be my main thing so yeah. but I also need to break out of having a comfort zone where yeah. I've never really burnt the ships where I'm not burning the ships but I've never really gone all in on something else yeah. but I've kind of started and went oh 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 shit okay, I'm, progressing I'm, I'm, now yes something. i'm coming back to this yeah. whereas but then the other learning is always keep the main thing the main thing where there's a few times where this has been my bread and butter but i've taken the finger off the pulse on this and gone too deep on something else right this is dropped so then my cash flow dropped so i always have to keep this i need to know where this point needs to stay at at all times yeah check in on it and once this drops too much take the focus off here bring it back up and then re-put the focus in whereas last time my focus was always here and this was going doom 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 and then i was putting too much pressure on this side to start generating what, income what was this was this like so I, I wanted thing? to yeah an online yeah thing. okay so i wanted to do like an online um female group right and what the reason why i came up with that is i felt the the majority of the, my clients were starting to become female. So yeah. I just thought, well then if that's the case in person, then I'll just <clears throat> transfer that online as well. But that wasn't the case. Cool. Right. So why did it fail? I think my, I didn't, that my marketing wasn't very good. And I just don't think the niche that I went into was very well thought out and it just wasn't planned it doesn't wasn't right. very well planned i kind of just was like i guess i thought it was a cool thing to do made up a few like programs and blah blah right. blah and just just followed the path of everybody every other guru yeah and i didn't really put enough plan and effort into it i just thought <clears throat> I'll do this thing, a couple of months it'll take off, I'm gonna be the fucking millionaire and <clears throat> that'll be done. So I kind of went into that and then I just put my focus in there because it wasn't getting traction and I was taking my finger off the pulse over yeah. here. And this started dwindling and that created extra pressure on this side. Yeah. So whereas my learning is I've got to set a point here and always check in and if this starts to drop, 
understand why it's dropped and yeah. keep it there. And I, I, the learning from that, from understanding why it dropped is because my clients weren't getting what they paid for. Yes. Meaning my full attention, the service that they're, yeah. that I said that I would provide. Yeah. So I'm always, that's why I'm trying to create systems and procedures for everything so mm. that I have a system to go, I've checked in, this has dropped 10%. What's going on? Where, yeah. in the, where in the system has it failed? Yeah. What have I taken my finger off the pulse? Yeah. Whereas if, and then if I need my attention more over here and I get some help in, I've got systems for everything. Yeah, so it's easier to hand Correct. off. Yeah. yeah, so I'm always going to have this baseline. Because the idea is for that to take off, right? Correct. Like the on thi on Correct. Like, Correct. And for this to be the main thing. Exactly. And this to be like, an enjoyable passion. Yes. passion, yeah. Yes, but I can't do that if I let this drop. Exactly. The lights turn off and I have nothing to eat. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. All right, done. Sweet. Um, good work.